Good morning, it's that time of day again. What we're looking at. What? That's a big increase. 86.85 kilograms. We're on the way. So I'm over here at my mum's house and I just wanted to go through with you what I'm currently having for supplements and things like that on a day-to-day -day basis. So first thing that I will have twice a day is a protein shake. Now I get my protein shake from my protein. I'm getting the Impact Whey protein. So I think it may even be called the diet protein when you look online. Um, it's got 21 grams of protein, four and a half grams uh, BCAs. Um, it's got glutamine and all that sort of thing, but it's very low carb which is probably the wrong thing for me to be having because I'm obviously trying to bulk up so I could do with having some carbs but yeah there's one gram of carbs per serving which obviously is very low um, calories I think is about 100 gram, 100, sorry 100 calories can't even see where it says now but I think it's 100 calories um, per, per serving so I'm having that twice a day now I used to have only one protein shake a day um, but the reason I change is because it's cheaper. I was getting all my protein from meat, which is fine, perfect, but it was costing me an arm and a leg. So what I did was reduce the amount of meat I was having and just up to my protein, um, protein shakes. It just means it was much cheaper. Now what I also add to that, first thing in the morning is I will add a scoop of creatine. Um, so that helps with um, big lifts and stuff in the gym. Um, do I notice a huge difference by adding it? A, a small difference. You know, I'd say that um, big lifts it helps with, but with general working out, you know, my, my full workout, I, I would say that I don't notice a huge difference. Um, but I think better to have it um, and not need it than need it and not have it, or whatever the saying is. Now, the other thing I have, and this isn't daily, this is just um, if it focuses in there. Doesn't want to do it. Oh, there we go. So the other thing I have is um, daily vitamins, although I don't have them daily. I am pretty useless when it comes to putting, ve well, not so much fruit, but vegetables into my diet. Um, I always mean to add broccoli and asparagus to a lot of my meals, but to be honest, I just can't be bothered. <laughs> so um, I add daily vitamins in when I don't have enough fruit and veg. So I'll just um, take one tablet as and when I feel like I am um, missing out on those macronutrients. The other thing I have is... Focus. Focus. Anyway, it's cod liver oil tablets. Um, do I... I don't notice a difference by taking them on a daily basis, um, but I'd like to think that I'm preventing something that could be a problem rather than fixing a problem with these. So. Yeah, I just throw that in with, um, I just take that with my protein shake first thing in the morning. Um, and that's it really, so that's what I'm having. So, two protein shakes, a scoop of creatine, and um, vitamins and uh, cod liver oil. That, that is it, that's as interesting as my supplements get. One other thing to mention actually, which I've got to say, is that I get all my supplements from my protein. And if you're going to order from my protein, definitely set yourself up with an account and set the notifications on to receive exclusive offers and things because every now and again you'll get a text and it's like 50% off everything or and it's quite regular as well so definitely set yourself up to receive the notifications on um, on offers because my protein do some very good offers
I did have a friend, but I, I got rid of him. Now he's now he's just a scab. I just wanted to share with you some advice because a big thing happened this morning, and I achieved my first muscle up. Well, I say my first. I actually did six in a row. So couldn't believe it. I've been trying for months to try and do one, and all of a sudden six in a row come out of nowhere. So big thing for me. Really, really chuffed. Over the moon about it. So I just wanted to give some advice with on how I achieved it. If I help just one person, then it will be worth it. Shut up. So, I treated it like a problem. The problem I had was that I couldn't do a muscle up and I wanted to do a muscle up. And just like any other problem in life, uh, what you should do, I know guys struggle with this, but I spoke about it. I asked people for advice, tips, what could I try, any exercise that would help me get there and to achieve it. And that helped me massively and that's what got me there. So this morning today, I spoke to two friends in the gym and said, can you do a muscle up? What tips have you got? One tip and all of a sudden it just clicked for me and I could do it and the feeling was amazing and I realised that it wasn't even a strength thing for me, it was just a technique. And once I got the technique sorted, I could then achieve the muscle up which I've been trying so hard to do for so long. Um, if you want to actually see the muscle up that I did, then it's on my Instagram page which I'll put in the description below. But yeah, I just wanted to share with you that treat a problem in the gym like any other problem in life. A problem shared is a problem halved or whatever the saying is, so definitely don't be afraid to speak to people in the gym, ask for help, ask for a spot, all those sorts of things because I'm sure that most people will be happy to help. 